Good stuff. job. Hi, You're doing great. Dang, Cruz. Crew Gaines is a marathon runner in the making. The three-year-old son of Chip and Joanna Gaines broke a sweat with his dad during one of the races for the Silo District Marathon this past weekend. On Saturday, the day before the big event, there was a 5K and a kid's fun run. Chip shared photos of his little guy on the move, wearing a sweatband and knee-high socks. He also shared a video of crew in action. Good job. Hi, bud. You're doing great. Dang, crew. You're beating us. Chip captioned the video, My baby is better than your baby. Hashtag Silo District Marathon. Hashtag Crew's Life. Crew, Chip, and thousands of other runners were all racing for a special cause. Joanna revealed on Instagram that more than $50,000 was raised for the Community Cancer Association of Waco, and more than $150,000 was raised for the nonprofit Brave Like Gabe. Gabrielle Gabe Grunwald was Chip's friend who helped him train for his first marathon. She died of a cancer battle in 2019. The Fixer Upper Welcome Home star referenced his late friend in his post from the event, writing in part, thousands of runners gathering in Waco today slash tomorrow to support cancer research. Me and the kids ran hard for you today, Gabe. Chip and Joanna are all about family. In an interview with Access Hollywood last year, the couple reflected on their whirlwind journey and shared how much they enjoy the little moments at home with their kids. It's felt like such a whirlwind. It's hard for us when we watch like the first, even just the, the opening thing of Fixer Upper and we see just how young our kids were, how young we were, yes. and kind of how naive we were. We didn't know what was coming out on the other side of this. We really thought Waco will watch our show. Hopefully they'll love it and support us, but we never thought it'd go any further than that. So for now to be sitting here and thinking, oh my gosh, we're launching a network. Like it, it, it felt like a whirlwind of opportunity of just a lot of amazing things. Um, but I also know there's parts of us that we, we crave feeling normal. We, we love these moments with our kids at home, like home for us is a place where we recharge, we refuel, that's where we ground ourselves. So um, I think just always having that balance of making sure that we, we feel normal in the ways that bring us the most life um, that that's happening. That's what I think really helps us get through, you know, anything that's on the other side of this. Absolutely.